Tomorrow is going to be Education Day here on 12 News at 5, and our topic proves all the learning in school doesn't take place in the classroom. We'll be looking at the drama program at Seneca High School. The students are getting ready to put on a performance of Oklahoma next month. Teacher and director Carol Roden is one of the advisors who's been working with the students to put musicals on for 29 years at Seneca. She joins us live tomorrow to talk on the educational benefits of drama in school. It's Education Day on 12 News at 5, and our topic proves all the learning in school doesn't take place in the classroom. We'll be looking at the drama program at Seneca High School. The students are getting ready to put on a performance of Oklahoma next month. Director Carol Roden has had a hand in Seneca's productions for 29 years. Carol and a cast member join us live in a few minutes to talk about the edu educational benefits of drama in schools. And next on our Live Education Day segment, lessons learned on stage not at the classroom. Welcome back to Education Day. For years, schools have fought hard to keep the so-called frills in their education budgets, but even the cost conscious seem to know there are some lessons to be learned on stage. And someone who has been teaching those lessons for 29 years, history teacher Carol Roden from Seneca High and a protege from this year's cast, John Rizjan, thank you both for being here today. Thank you. Boy, Carol, 29 years, that is a long time. What is it about being involved with students and drama that's so appealing to you? Well, I think the excitement of watching students grow from not knowing what they're doing to becoming almost accomplished performers on the stage and uh, having to do a, an expert job when they started out not knowing anything. And it's just fun watching them grow. Now it's interesting, you teach history and then you cross over and direct the play. Usually that's someone who teaches English or teaches speech or something. Is that a little bit unusual as well? Uh, probably in most places, but most of the people that are involved in the production of the show are involved in the history or social studies. Uh, the man who does the, uh, all of our staging uh, has always been involved in the, has always been a history teacher and been involved that way too. John, how do you see yourself growing through the experience? Your, your uh, group is working on a production of Oklahoma this year. What have you learned? Is it, is it uh, more than just the self-confidence that you gain from being on the stage? You get to work with people and understand what you have to do and what is right and if you should do it this way or if you should do it that way. Mrs. Rowan helps a lot with if this looks bad or if your arm's in the wrong position, how to do it and change it to make it look professional. And we're not just talking about a learning experience here for the cast members. There are a lot of other students that it takes to make this happen, right? Right. Uh, we have about 25 stage crew members that are working in designing the, st the settings. We have at least 19 students involved in our orchestra not counting the kids that are working on makeup and hair and costuming. And then we have a really big support, uh, I, I want to call them a cast, but our parents that are involved, the dads that help with the building, the moms and the community that does all of our, our costuming and that type of thing. We have a little snippet uh, of your rehearsal from uh, a, a few nights ago. Let's take a look and a listen to how it's going. Okay. No, no, I won't. Supposing that I say that your lips are like cherries, or roses, or berries, what you gonna do? Can't you feel my heart palpitating and a bumping? learning a little bit of choreography there as well. This is actually a business lesson for students too because your program is self-sufficient? Yes, uh, most everything is paid for by the, from the cost of the tickets or from the, the amount of money we bring in from that. How have students changed over the 29 years you have been working? Do you see much, much change? Um, each year is kind of different. One year you'll have students that are just fantastically talented uh, voice-wise or instrumental-wise. The next year you have the tremendous actor who maybe isn't quite as good with the singing voice, but you have to work, always work and put them together. And over the years, there, we've had some tremendous talents at, at Seneca that have done the, done the shows. 
John, some of your uh, friends in the, in the production, do you think they surprise even themselves? They might have uh, been a little shy, or, or, you, or oh, maybe yeah. you're seeing some of your friends in a different light? Yeah. I meet new people all the time because of the musical. Uh, kids on the baseball team, basketball team, football team, they try out where you're not really accustomed to seeing them, but yet you meet new people all the time. You meet people in the band, behind the stage, the ones who build the sets and put the nails and screws and everything to make sure you don't fall apart on stage. Eliminate some of those stereotypes. <laughs> right. I guess. If you're interested in uh, getting a ticket or attending this production, it is coming up March 6th and 7th at Seneca High School, Oklahoma. The uh, March 6th performance at 8 p.m. and it's, uh, on the 7th there's a matinee at 1 as well as an 8 p.m. performance. You can call the school, get some tickets. Carol and John, thanks both for being here and good luck with the show. Thank you. Break Thank a leg, you. I should say. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well,